Hi guys, I hope mko fiti kama kawaida mimi niko poa. I just want to do a short video to show you how to apply for the Everett Community College. This is my first time posting on YouTube so msichangae na msicheke. Nitazoea hizi vitu so niki post uh, a funny video don't worry about it. Tuna learn pamoja hizi vitu pole pole. Sawa sawa. So I'm just going to show you how to apply for Everett Community College. I already told you about the program. Uh, it's a nursing program. It's going to be two years when you get here. So I've already shared the link on my bio on TikTok. Uh, what I just need to do is to show you how to apply after you get the link. So I hope it are clear. Let's do this. When you go to that link, yeah, let me go back. When you go to that link, it akonyesha. Itakuleta, itakupeleka straight to Everett Community College. So I'll just do, because nimetumia Google Mimi. If you want to use Google, you can use Google. But, uh, tafuta Everett Community College. And then you tap, ikikuja program inakuja. Some, it's easier to use the international, uh, international, hapa iviju. But, most people want to wanna say Mahawa party. But so the easier way, I'll just show you the easier way is to just tap up kwa search and then how to search in, uh, to apply for international and then we can search. Okay, search, it will be a page. Yeah, international students. So tap international students. After we tap international students, again, in a collector information it has a lot of information if you want to, to read through it we can read through, through it araka raka so what they need is a complete international student application form so we will click click on that and then they need official transcripts of the courses and gr grades from high school and from college or universities attended right kaumenda college yoyote kaumenda ulifanya High school, the, the grade does not matter. Even if you got a D minus, you can still apply for this. It doesn't really matter. What they really want is to confirm that you went to high school or you've done any other courses. So you can share all your transcripts. And then, kuna a fee, $40, which is non-refundable, your application. And it must be paid via a credit card. So come on a credit card. Ask a friend who has a credit card at a and then you will pay online. And then you need a copy of your passport photo page. And then you also need a bank statement less than six months old. Like it's not over six months or it's not it's not below six months. So it has to be at least six months old. Yeah, yeah, in a fa kukwana twenty two thousand. 727 or 18,000 they have they 18,000 US dollars or 22 or even more they don't stop you from having more and then uh, for transferring students that you are also yearning for students who are already here in the USA so okay could you for that application form in a culetea, the application form in a kaivi. So I'll just quickly go through it. So in a guide, this is what you need. If you have, <coughs> excuse me. So to apply, please submit. You see whatever you needed, completed form. There's just repeating the same thing. Kenyanisha sema. So, for this, utawana wana kuambia application fee, unawana hii toeful, it's not, it's not needed, but if you have it, you can share it. It's not required. If you have it, you can just share it with your other documents, but it's not a requirement. Now, it should be stamped, it should be official, so CO to any other report. So when you're filling your personal information, you already know it's your, you are a first time student, right? So utandika new student, and then you to fill 
your first name, your last name, your first name, middle name, date of birth, country of birth, country of citizenship, language, I mean, kind of kisim, jalu, mluya, whichever. And then, are you currently in the USA? Of course, since you're in Kenya, it's it's no. So, uh, do you have any dependents applying with you? Could be yes, could be no. Kama unataka ku apply wewe na mtoto wako, utasema yes. Kama unataka ku apply peke yako, unasema no. Do you have any medical conditions or allergies? Kaya uko nazo, just say it. Give information about it. Do you require any special physical or learning assistant? Are you blind? Do when you keep off, when you go, just mention, are you disabled? Just mention to them. Say yes, and then you describe your issue. How did you hear about ever community college? You never say my mimi, never say my friend, because mimi rafkiago. And we can rafkiago say my jinazango. Tamariso Biro. Aya. Alafu, contact information, students, uh, home country, and current address. If you're in the USA, unafakweka information hapa. But most of you are in Kenya, so uneka information yako. Address yako, uneka PO box. Ina kutek back to na vile nikuwa naambia kusu, kusu uh, green card application. Uneka pas, nini, uh, Kama ni 9696 Eldoret, unaeka 9696 City ni Eldoret, Code ya Eldoret, alafu, Province Kani ya Singishu, and then Kenya, and then namba yako ya simu, na student uh, email address, email yako. Ukifika hapa hivi kwa emergency contact information, unaeka whichever information that you want. Kama unataka ya mamako, ama babako, ama ya ndugi yako, whichever information you want to put there, unaeka. Alafu, Utaika signature hapa na month in your maker. So it's, the, it's very simple to apply. It's very simple. Since I apply na uh, agency, mimi ni kewa apply ya, haita kuwa uh, an agent. I'm not an agent. So sina, sina nini, any, any documents akusama man agent. So when you're filling up this part, Unaeka tu not applicable, not applicable kwa sababu umejijazia we mwenyewe. Mimi ni kifil, bado nitaandika not applicable kwa I'm doing it for you on your behalf. So, kama unataka ni kurisivie, uh, I-20 yako, unaeza eka jinangu wapa. But kama unataka kujirisivia we mwenyewe, eka details zako, eka email yako, you, you will receive your I-20 through your email. It's still okay. And then education background. Kama ukona uko ukona ina college or university transfer high school completion program English as second language, whatever program that you you have. So unaeka high school completion, and then or rad, sorry sorry, apo disregard Kenya ni mesema. Which program would you like to study? Of course, unakuja college. So, unayaka college. And then, uh, intended major of study, utayaka nursing. Kusababi shule ni ya nursing. And then, list all schools, university, English as a second language institution in order of attendance. Kama uliafanya high school, ulingia mwaka gani, ulimaliza mwaka gani, high school. Uh, college ulimaliza mwaka gani, university ulimaliza mwaka gani, ama uko mwaka gani sahi, but unendelea kusoma. Those are the things you need to put there. Kama usha graduate actually. Kama uja graduate, uneza andika, time nye uko, shule ulingia, this is the time umemaliza, ama kama uja graduate, unandika, unayaka mwaka na uja graduate, unasema no. Did you graduate, unasema no. Statement of financial responsibility. So he, kama unalipa, we mwenyewe, andika personal. Alafu, weka amount balance ya your bank statement yikono pesa ngapi. Kama ni scholarship, weka hapo. Since I'm kujina scholarship, unandika not applicable, not applicable. Kama ni family yako yana kusupport, weka jina yu family. Yu nini, yu pesa nye hiko, 
kwa bank account and then hapa hivi chini sema mwenye anaku anaku support weka full names kama ni nini lazima explain relationship as a student uh, nini na wewe student like uko related daje na wewe mtu weka address yake and then penye anaishi kila kitu and then hapa utafaa ku unafaa huyo member mwenye ana nini anafaa ku sign mwenye ana ku sponsor anafaa ku sign haya so is it part za nini is yani ni, ni simple things i don't think it's so hard for you to understand all this but you know so um release release of information release of information basically ni kitu yenye unapena information ya yeye inahitajika kama you feel it's it's needed so utasoma tu hizi vitu zote uangalie uh, authorization for emergency release for student record information in case wanahitaji information yako do you allow them to 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 give to the embassy or you know whichever if you agree say yes if you do not agree say no na ukisema no unaweka hapo not applicable no ka, unakuja hapo unasema no unaandika information yako hapo and then what else kama unataka uh, picha yako ku release these are just things to ask you if they will give out your information or not so if you're okay for them to pay any information yako just say yes i want to decide that for you so unakuja hapa chini you will need medical insurance iko included kwa your school fees so uta, uta unafaa ku sign signature that you may agree to that that they will get money from that school fees that you'll pay your insurance yako and then pia on campus housing policy like kama unataka kuishi kwa shule of course most of you are going to come uh kuishi kwa shule for the first year and then the second year unaishi nje you have to sign that so this is for those minors of course most of you guys are not minors but if you have someone you want to apply when you are under 18 this part is yours you need to fill that information and then uh, what else and, and that's it So when you are done filling up because this part unai feel na hapa because it will not allow you to to sign to not allow you to to sign like literally but it will allow you to type like kama unataka kuweka information yako to inakuwa law ukifungua tu hapo inakuwa law unaona like inakuwa law new student information yako kama mimi ni Damar Obiero you know ina inania law kujaza information but it will not allow me to sign so what you do you download this ukisha download unaenda adobe reader adobe reader kenya is free to download on your phones you can always transfer this information to your phone or you can transfer to the laptop uko na adobe reader u sign hizo parts zenye unastahili ku sign insurance and all that after signing unakuja hapa na kuja hapa unarudi pale unakumbuka hapo kwa international student application form unakuja ndio email unaenda kwa email hapa ukifungua hiyo email enda e, e, nini eka ingisha huko kwa ingia huko kwa email and then fanya kile ina style tuma all the other documents that are needed your your high school document na hiyo hiyo form yenye umeshajaza make sure umeshalipa the this credit you know like umesha, ukisha ukishamaliza all the information just pay the credit nini uh yo yo nini information yako middle name kila kitu iko hapo it's that simple everything 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 and then you click here you sign yo pesa itakatwa kutoka kwa account ikisha katwa what are receive they will send you information that they have received and then hapo kwa email si unatuma tu documents zote remember to send the bank statement a copy of your passport photo page and um, your official transcripts 
plus the international student application. Make sure me to let me repeat. Make sure me to my international student application form a completed form. Me jaza it should be typed. Ukwai kwandi kana pen. And then make sure me to my official transcripts. Kau lifanya high school, it's okay. You can just send with your high school. Kama ulifanya both high school na other things, maybe college, you can always send everything that you have. Boro me, it's completed na it's a, a, an original document. Not, of course, you, you don't have to send an original document, it's a copy. Uh, official transcripts of the courses. And then a copy of the passport photo page, bank statement. And that's it. I think that's all you need. I hope this video is going to be helpful. Miss Dye posts uh, YouTube. This is my first YouTube post. So you bear with me. Next time I'll do better. Subscribe. Pia mini mianza hizo kusema subscribe. Kindly subscribe. And then... From there, to town I will try to post suffering and I will get someone to guide me how to do this. But I wanted to help people know how to, to do this application. That's your girl. I'm going to TikTok. I'm going to make a dog.